Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm gonna show you a really cool, hard to find plant called the large leaf goji berry. Um, this one's not too big yet. Um, I'm just starting it out my first year growing these. Um, I've got some seeds from a place called Sacred Succulents. Uh, they have a really interesting collection. Anyway, um, these are the large leaf goji berries. I got a couple specimens here. This one's looking the healthiest so far. And so it will produce a berry just like the regular goji berry. I'm not a, uh, expecting it to taste that great um, but the nice thing about this is this is a perennial vegetable so this is a very high nutrition uh, food it's very high in protein minerals um, and it's going to come back year after year more and more and uh, you can eat them throughout the year and they kind of have the shape of uh, the texture of spinach like baby spinach a little tougher than, than baby spinach though um, and it's one of those things you don't have to keep planting um, so it's very nice to have around. Um, I have all sorts of perennial vegetables here. I've got an edible leaf mulberry. Uh, this is a leaf sweet potato um, that uh, doesn't really produce a tuber, but it produces lots of good tasting leaves. Um, chayas planted. Um, so this is the beginning of a perennial vegetable garden here. But uh, the edible leaf goji, goji berry is awesome. I'm going to do a lot more videos on this one. I've got a couple plants of it, although these other ones aren't doing as well but maybe they're just kind of genetically different and not as well adapted. Um, but hopefully they hang on and survive because goji is a pretty tough plant. Uh, so definitely uh, subscribe if you want to stay updated on some of the latest cool perennial vegetables that I'm working on.